So let's start with VMworld. You've announced a number of things this week. What are you most excited about? You know, what we're seeing is the emergence of this sort of multi-cloud world. And customers are figuring out that cloud is really not a place, it's a way of doing IT. And they're modernizing, automating their existing on-premise infrastructure, and they're also leveraging the public cloud and managed services and software as a service. And VMware is incredibly well positioned with all the innovation that it's creating to enable that new connected future and do it in a secure manner. So when you say multi-cloud, you mean public and private. You Absolutely. think hybrid cloud is the way of the future. I think customers are adopting IT in a, in a hybrid fashion. Mm -hmm. And you know all the customers we talk to are already using many different modes of, of, of IT. And it, when you imagine forward to the future of an enormous number of connected devices, as the cost of sensors comes down, you're actually going to have uh, you know, a, a distributed computing world that is far more vast than what we have today. So talk to me about some of the partnerships. VMware partnered with Amazon a year ago. They made it official. Uh, VMware also partnering with Google. What is the impetus to partner with what could be considered your enemies? Well, the partnership with AWS is about bringing together the number one private cloud with the number one public cloud. And that gives customers great flexibility to be able to leverage their VMware software and capability on a public cloud environment. And that's great, okay? With Google, we're bringing together Pivotal and the, the, the very developer-friendly uh, capability that Pivotal has brought to half of the Fortune 500 with Kubernetes, which Google has created as a cloud you know, operating system uh, and, and put in the open source community and bringing that all to the 500,000 plus customers that VMware has in a secure manner with NSX. And that's creating a kind of developer friendly infrastructure that allows uh, you know, companies to develop these next generation apps, put them in containers and deploy them on premise or in the public cloud. And this is exactly what customers are asking us to do. Do you have any concern that these public cloud owners could steal your private cloud business? Well, look, you know, what I see is that when new things happen in the industry, if they're good for customers, if you stand in the way of those, you'll do so at your own peril. And just like when VMware first came out, you know, as a, a little bitty tiny company, right, when it was just starting, uh, Dell was the first server vendor to embrace VMware. And yes, we sold fewer servers at the beginning because you could virtualize the server. Uh, but we ended up selling a whole lot more servers than we ever imagined. And now we're number one in the world in servers. And we're growing you know, double digits and that business is doing very well. Uh, so here again, I think when customers want different modes of IT, when they want the, the public cloud in addition to the private cloud, it's important for us to listen and to bring those capabilities to our customers. So when it comes to the Amazon deal or the Google deal, how can Dell in particular more broadly use that deal? So, uh, you know, VMware and, and Pivotal are both part of Dell Technologies mm -hmm. and certainly combining uh, all of our sales force, you know, across the company, all of our channels, you know, we'll be bringing those capabilities to all of our customers. And one of the things that we've seen uh, in the combination is this idea that customers actually don't want to have more partners. They want fewer partners. Mm -hmm. And by bringing number one in everything all to one place to our customers, we've seen a really a, a fabulous response. Revenue synergies greater than we thought, mm -hmm. coming faster than we thought. And it's, it's because we brought this broad set of capabilities. So, you know, uh, as, as I've said, Dell EMC, VMware, you know, go together like peanut butter and chocolate. How about, <laughs> I like that analogy. How about Microsoft? You know, last time we spoke uh, was on stage with uh, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella. We talked about whether you were friends or frenemies. Um, and you've made it clear you're willing to work with your frenemies or your enemies or whatever you want to call them. Do you see doing more deals like that? Doing more deals like these? I do. And, and in fact, uh, not only are we working with Microsoft 
through Dell EMC, but VMware is working with Microsoft. And I think you're going to see us connect to all of the public clouds that are out there. IBM, Microsoft, AWS, Google, OVH, Rackspace, et cetera. And so we'll, we'll connect into all of those uh, in one form or another over time. And uh, certainly Microsoft has been a long time partner for Dell. Uh, and you know we, we continue to work with them on, on a broad set of important initiatives. You've talked in the past about the boomerang effect with customers coming to Dell or coming back to Dell because of their disappointment in the public cloud. Are you still seeing that? What I would tell you is that I think you know whenever anything new happens in our industry, people get very excited, mm -hmm. right? And and uh, you get some let's say overexcitement. Oh, let's move everything to the public cloud. And they run off to do that and they go, oh, well, that's not exactly perfect. You can't really do it. It's, it's too expensive. And for the predictable workloads, maybe that's not such a good idea. And, and so then they, they figure out what the right balance and equilibrium is. I think certainly one of the things that, that you know, that, that idea has become much more mainstream. We talked about it a year ago or two years ago and I think recognize that as we were putting together Dell Technologies, but I think more and more customers are realizing that it, it truly is a multi-cloud world. And, and look, uh, you know, as we modernize and automate these on-premise systems, they, they're, they're going to be extremely competitive and there are plenty of use cases in terms of governance, security, uh, you know, uh, privacy, et, et cetera, uh, and we're also seeing some companies that went too fast to the public cloud and they're saying, oh, well, that's not perfect for every workload. And is that benefiting more the server or the storage side of your business? Both. Mm -hmm. Equally? And, and, and increasingly those, those businesses are uh, very, you know, uh, you know, kind of working together because you say, well, you know, uh, we have software-defined storage. Well, what is that? That software runs on a server, right? And so, uh, you know, the, the, these businesses actually, I believe, needed to come together. And what I can tell you is on a combined basis, Dell Technologies is growing significantly faster than the IT industry. Uh, certainly you see that in the, the public parts of Dell with VMware and, and SecureWorks. Pivotal's growing very fast. And in the infrastructure, we continue to gain share in servers and clients and this portfolio effect that we anticipated seeing where customers would say, why don't we do more with, with you guys? Well, that's, we're, we're absolutely seeing that.